Okay, let's begin. All you need is a pair of scissors, some tape, and an optional craft knife. You're going to begin by cutting out the seven pieces of paper that you see here. It's best if you can to use a heavy stock paper because Humpty will work a little bit better that way, but you can use any kind of paper. And of course, please print it in color if you can because it's very colorful. So we have Humpty's head, two arms, two legs, and this is going to be his lollipop here. And down here is a little rectangle that you'll use to support him. Later, we'll show you the wall that you're going to build and we're going to attach Humpty to it. We'll begin by valley folding this tab right here and giving it a good crease. Now we're going to build a sort of an inside out face as you'll see. So I'm going to take this side and fold it over like that and I'm going to tuck that tab behind the left side of Humpty. So we're making an inside out face. Don't forget that his face should be inside out. So we'll just turn it over and then take a piece of tape and then we'll tape it together. Now we're going to put the arms on, and the arms go right where Humpty's belt is, which runs down here. So we put the arm in back, and in about three quarters of an inch, a couple of centimeters, and then tape it into position. And then we're going to do the same thing with the left arm, and that will go also right in back there where the belt is. Okay, now we've got the two arms and the two legs done, and we're going to take the arms and bend them back that way. And that will improve the illusion. So from the top it looks like that. And of course from the front it looks like that. So now we're ready to put the wall on. Okay, I'm all done cutting out the rectangle on the main page. Now we're ready to go to the next step. And we'll leave this guide off to the side so to remind us what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is cut the slit that's noted here in green. So I'm going to get my craft knife out and we'll cut that. Okay, that takes care of the slit. And now we're going to cut the four lines that are in green, shown on your both on the main page and on the guide page. So I'm just going to cut those because we can't make the box until we've done those. All right, now the first thing we're going to do is a mountain fold along here. It says mountain fold all the way, and you'll notice the ivy is on the right hand side. So let's fold that right now, and we'll crease it like that. And we're going to do it one more time, right over where the slit is, and crease that. The other side will be the same. We're going to mountain fold it over just like so. Okay. Now over here, we're going to fold in the two sides, they're tabs. We're going to start to make a box. So there you can see the box is starting to look more box-like. Then I'm going to fold up this main big tab at the back put it over these two and fold it down just like that. And as you can see, we're starting to make the box. I'm going to take a piece of tape and just tape that in place. And then we'll go on and do the other side. And basically, we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to fold these over where the mountain fold lines are shown. Just like this. And again, we'll Fold up the big tab, fold it across and down, and that makes the complete wall. I'll just tape that in place, and that's all there is to it. And now there is the final wall, and at the top is the slit. Next we're going to take Humpty and put him right into the slit. We'll take We'll take that support piece and push it right down inside like that. Now, we're going to lower him down just a little bit more so that he's slightly overlapping the wall. And we sort of bend him back a little bit. He'll flop around a bit, which is fine. Now, lastly, we turn him over and we just take a piece of tape 
and tape him securely in place. And now we're almost all done. The last step is to put the lollipop into his mouth. So let's get the lollipop. Okay, here's a wooden skewer. You can use really anything at all. You could use a straw if you like. And here is the lollipop which I cut out. So I'm going to take the blunt end of the skewer. I'm going to leave the pointy end here and I'm going to tape the skewer inside the lollipop. I'll take one more piece of tape and make a loop here so that we can fold the other half of the lollipop down and line it up. doesn't have to really line up because it looks fine no matter how you do it. So there you have the lollipop. Now we take Humpty. It's easier to see this from behind or from above. Now I'm going to take the skewer and actually push it right through the cone and it'll go about an inch in back. From the front it'll just look like he's got a lollipop in his mouth which is great. And then we're just going to take a couple of pieces of tape and anchor that back there so it doesn't move too much. And there we have it. Now as we turn around here and we look at Humpty from the front we can see his face and we can see the lollipop. Now the way to do the illusion is you, you hold the wall with both your hands and you rotate it and as I turn it one way Humpty's face goes the other way which is really quite striking except this lollipop sort of just does what it feels like it doesn't really pay any attention to what he's doing so he distorts in a really kind of a cool way and is definitely <laughs> going his own way he's an independent little guy so that's the amazing Humpty Dumpty illusion. Thanks.